In Stellaris, you're able to create all kinds of different alien nations, from peaceful democracies and tyrannical dictatorships to space zombies and devouring swarms. You name it, the possibilities that this game offers are endless. But you can push your imagination even further with mods, and that's why in today's video I'll go through a list of mods that should open up new possibilities for role-playing and empire creation. Now, before we get into the video, most of my viewers are not subscribed, and we are trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so if you'd like to see more videos like this on the channel then subscribe and like the video. So without further ado, let's get into the mods. First we are gonna talk about traits. Personally I think vanilla traits are very limited and kind of boring so the following mods should fix that problem. Trait diversity is one of my go-tos when it comes to adding new traits. It brings over 160 biological and 59 mechanical traits to the game. Traits added by this mod describe a variety of different attributes from size, food requirements, the ability to grasp certain concepts, psionic capabilities, etc. Some of the traits are also very specific which is the reason why I especially like this mod. This trait for example turns your species into a slime made of organic material and energy, while this one grants your species fire breathing abilities. As you can see this mod opens up a lot of new customization options, but if you're looking for something similar to vanilla then Xenology should be the right mod for you. It adds over 40 new traits to the game and instead of revolving around superpowers or unnatural abilities, traits added by this mod describe different skills and behaviors. This mod also has a very interesting mechanic which allows some traits to have an influence on your leaders. For example, the creative trait gives all your governors the patron of the arts trait, and natural chemist adds the gunnery expert trait to your admirals. Next on the list we have species diversity. If you ever felt like other species types are very bland compared to others, then you should definitely install this mod. It adds new traits for all species types and each species now gets 5 positive and 2 negative traits, so now they should all be equally unique and interesting to play with. Also if you feel like trait limitations in vanilla are too restrictive, then go ahead and install the more trait points in picks mod which allows you to pick 10 traits and gives you 8 trait points to utilize. In Stellaris you're also able to customize your nation's government, society and beliefs, and the following mods should give you even more options to choose from. From. Ethics and Civics Bug Branch expands the Ethics Wheel, adds new authorities to the game, and most importantly adds more customization options for hive minds. It also brings in a handful of new standard, machine and megacorp civics to the game. I also made a full video on this mod so go check it out if you want a more in-depth explanation of what this mod offers. If you don't want to use the Bug Branch but you want some additional civics, then the Government Variety Pack should be the right mod for you. It adds over 75 civics which all represent different approaches to topics like labor, religion, philosophy, etc. Megacorps also get a bunch of new civics and with them you can create megacorporations based on different jobs and businesses like education, tourism and even on solving conflicts between hostile nations. This mod not only adds new civics but it also brings over 90 government types based on combinations of vanilla civics and modded ones. These new government types are more precise than vanilla ones so in Instead of your nation being a star empire or a plutocratic oligarchy, you can now become a folkish regime, a cosmic choir, or a doom horde. Another civic mod that I recommend is Empires Expanded, and although this mod is not as complex as the variety pack, civics added by this mod fit in very well with vanilla concept-wise, and some even have additional features. For instance, the Peacekeeper Civic allows you to form a peacekeeping coalition. This new federation allows you to use the neutralized threat wargle on any empires you deem to be a threat to galactic peace, and with it you're able to install a new government within the conquered nation. My personal favorite from this mod is the Sovereign Nation Civic. I really like it because it represents a civilization that hasn't unified under a single banner, and the global governments aren't necessarily the most realistic. This mod not only adds new civics, it also has 5 new ascension perks, new policies, and 3 new origins for you to play with. And speaking of origins, let's talk about the Origins Extended mod. It adds over 20 new origins, some even have their own event chains, special projects and archaeological sites. These new origins should create a decent setting to build your nation around. Red Dawn for example tells a story of a nuclear holocaust on Earth. With the planet completely uninhabitable, the remaining humans on Mars have to continue Earth's legacy by expanding across the cosmos. While Free Body Problem starts a short event chain in which you have to find a new planet to settle, as your homeworld's unstable orbit puts your kind in danger. You may also download 
basic ordinary origins. It gives you a bunch of small origins which should make your species backstory more interesting so you no longer have to rely on prosperity signification every single time. Has your civilization emerged from a catastrophic event? Maybe it got unified because of religion, trade, eagerness to explore or perhaps a visionary led them towards the space age. It's all up to you. The environment your species lives in is also a very important element of building an alien race and planetary diversity is a perfect mod for that category. If you pair it with some of the mods mentioned in this video you can create some very unique alien civilizations and you can truly make dozens of empires solely based on the plants added by this mod, especially if you're using the exotic or unique world submod. After that we have some cosmetic slash visual mods for a bunch of different things. Flags, emblems and backgrounds merged is a merger of several emblem and background mods. It adds new original emblems, emblems from different franchises, new color versions of existing ones. It also adds a ton of new backgrounds so trust me this mod should definitely be enough for you. For more flag design options you should definitely install the UI overhaul plus complete colors mod which brings in over 2000 colors for you to choose from. Another mod that I recommend is Cerberkan's assortment of name lists. It adds new custom names for alien empires and a huge amount of new name lists ranging from fantasy like names to human names from all nationalities. For additional mod recommendations go check out this video over here and you can also leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also if you have any ideas regarding this series leave them down in the comments and I will see you in a another video, have a nice day and goodbye.